Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo here. American Republican Governor Hogan is serious about possible primary challenge to Trump. In New Hampshire, Hogan says, Mueller report did not make me proud of the president. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan left no doubt Tuesday that a challenge to President Donald Trump for the Republican presidential nomination is still very much on his radar and will remain there for at least the next several months. The second term chief executive, one of the most popular governors in the country, told New Hampshire political and business leaders at the Politics and Eggs Breakfast he is deeply considered that under Trump, the National Republican Party is shrinking and becoming monolithic. Speaking to reporters after the event, Hogan said the report released last week by Special Counsel Robert Mueller did not make me proud of the president and is certainly nothing to about and nothing to celebrate. Hogan has been considering an insurgent challenge to Trump for several months, but has mostly couched his interest by lamenting the virtual gridlock in Washington. On Tuesday morning, though, he made his most direct comments to date about his thinking on the matter. Hogan said he has been to 10 states and has 16 additional states on his schedule. Hogan was elected to a second term as governor in November in a markedly Democrat state. For the past several months, even before his re-election, Hogan emerged as a top Republican critic of the sitting president. But unlike former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld, who announced a run for president earlier this month, Hogan had been less defensive, avoiding direct comment on whether he'll actually go through with a challenge. But at the breakfast, traditionally a must-stop for presidential candidates and potential candidates, that tone changed. When he took the stage, he first lowered expectations of what he might say about a challenge. He turned to a large gathering of media representatives and said, I'm not here to make an official announcement today. I just thought that April would be a beautiful time to visit New Hampshire. In his remarks, Hogan presented himself as an effective leader who has worked with a Democratic-led legislature in sharp contrast to Washington, which he noted is only 30 miles from in a Maryland's capital. But later, as he answered questions from 
audience members and the media, Hogan's remarks became more direct. He addressed the Mueller's report's findings on special counsel probe into possible collusion between the 2016 Trump campaign and the Russia government and into possible obstruction of justice by Trump. Hogan said that while the report showed no collusion with Russians, there was some really unsavory stuff in the report that did not make me proud of the president. And Hogan said he was frustrated that Republican U.S. Senators are not speaking out about the Mueller report. He said he does not believe there should be impeachment proceedings, but I also don't think there should be a cover-up from the administration. I don't think you should be whitewash the thing. Hogan said he views a potential path to victory through the 23 states with open primaries or primaries which allow independents to vote in either party's primary, as is the case in New Hampshire. He also said that if he runs, he would be prepared to be criticized by Trump. Hogan took aim at the Republican National Committee, not so much for endorsing Trump, but for changing its rules. According to Hogan, stiff debate and dissent. Hogan said the GOP had a border appeal in the past. He said the RNC does not represent the average voter. However, it's a small group of people in Washington that make these decisions and they're not really representing of the average person. Hogan said Weld called him before announcing for president and I encouraged him and thanked him. Hogan said that in Washington, either side really wants to make progress. They just want to make demands and make arguments. That's not governing. That's just political theater. And most Americans are sick and tired of all that drama. Meanwhile, Hogan said that Annapolis common sense progressiveness has guided our path. Hogan said it's clear that voters on both sides just want elected officials to stop the fighting and get to work and get things done. I still believe what units us in greater than that which divides us. Veteran New Hampshire Republican strategist Tom Rath, who endorsed former Ohio Governor John Kasich in 2016 battle for the party's presidential nomination, said there is a path for a GOP challenge to Trump, but it's a difficult one. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.